Understanding seeds of violence, an English phrase explained. Hello and welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting and metaphorical phrase, seeds of violence. This phrase is not only rich in meaning but also a great example of how English often uses imagery to convey complex ideas. By the end of this video, you'll have a deeper understanding of this phrase and how you can use it in your own conversations. The phrase, seeds of violence, is a metaphor. In English, a metaphor is a figure of speech where a word or phrase is applied to an object or action to which it is not literally applicable. Here, the word, seeds, is used metaphorically. Normally, seeds are small objects that you plant in the ground to grow plants or trees. In this phrase, however, seeds are used to represent the origin or cause of something. So, when we talk about the seeds of violence, we are referring to the causes or factors that may lead to violence. This can include anything from hate speech and discrimination to poverty and lack of education. Let's look at some examples to understand how this phrase can be used in everyday conversation or writing. 1. The constant bullying in schools is like planting the seeds of violence in young minds. 2. Political leaders must be careful not to sow the seeds of violence with their words and actions. 3. The movie explored how childhood trauma can be the seeds of violence in a person's later life. In each of these examples, the phrase is used to indicate the root cause or beginning of violent behavior or situations. Understanding the context is crucial when using metaphors like, seeds of violence. The phrase should be used in situations where it's clear that you're discussing the causes or beginnings of violence. It's also important to ensure that the usage is sensitive and appropriate, especially when discussing real-world issues or events. We hope this video has been helpful in understanding the phrase, seeds of violence. It's a powerful expression that can add depth to your conversations and writing in English. Remember, learning a language is not just about words and grammar, but also about understanding the culture and nuances of expressions. Keep practicing, and don't be afraid to use metaphors in your English conversations. Until next time, happy learning!